He raised me when mom passed, but when my stepmom came into our lives, everything changed now I've heard her say she hates me. And I don't know how to tell my dad without breaking his heart. I have an amazing dad who raised me since my mom passed away when I was five years old. He is my friend, my supporter, and someone who I want to be like when I grow up. When my dad first introduced my stepmom to me, I was 10 years old and she was very nice to me and he looked so happy that we met and hoped we could get along. They got married when I was 13 and I was so happy that my dad and I had a new member in our family. I thought me and stepmother were getting along until I think a few months after their honeymoon noon she told me one morning that we just need to pretend to like each around my dad. But when he is not here that I shouldn't bother her. Honestly this shattered me. But I agreed cause I didn't know what else to do. After that day whenever it was just me and stepmother she would say things to get to me and I would just not say anything. I'm introverted and don't like confrontation, so I just took it and thought over time she would get over it, but it got worse. She would talk about my height and weight and say I was a funny looking version of my dad. I hoped my dad would notice, but he didn't. He actually thinks me and stepmother are so close and she understands me. He looks so happy with her that maybe it's worth not saying anything and giving it time. This year, my stepmother has started picking on me around my dad and he has either joined in or ignored it. I have voiced that what she says makes me uncomfortable and hurts, but my dad says she is teasing and doesn't mean it to hurt me. Well, right now I'm at my ends and I'm scared I'm angry, frustrated at my stepmother and my dad. Dad was away for work and it was just me and stepmother at home. She had a party at home with a couple of her friends. I helped set the house up and cook dinner cause dad asked me to help out which was fine. After they ate and just hung out they were hanging out on the porch when I heard stepmother and her friends talking very loudly outside my window while I was in my room. Stepmother friends talked about how lucky stepmother was to have a nice husband and a house when they mentioned how nice it was that I cooked for them. Stepmother told them that I was annoying and weird and she hated me and living with me and couldn't wait till I was 18 to kick me out. I was shocked that she hated me that much, but I didn't know why. Diff. I thought we were tolerating each other, but to hate me I must have done something, but I can't think of what I did. I've been kinda down since that day which was two weeks ago and I thought I was past the initial feelings. But at rugby training today I bursted into tears and my coach sent me home so I drove to a beach and cried. I was feel so much I honestly can't describe my emotions. I eventually fell asleep in my car. Now I'm here hoping I can get advice on how to talk to my dad about it. Cuz, I'm scared about how he will react. I don't want my dad to be sad cuz he does so much for me but I'm not strong like him, I'm really struggling. My question is, how can I approach this conversation with my dad about my stepmother hating me? Or should I tell him at all? Too long didn't read. I heard my stepmother tell her friend she hates me and I want to tell my dad about it but don't know how. Edit someone questioned my dad's age and I'm sorry but it was supposed to be 42 but I can't change it. Sorry thank you everyone that provided advice and kind words. It means a lot to me. I have read every comment and have an idea on how to approach this situation. I'm honestly terrified of the outcome being negative but the encouragement and support are making this a bit easier to deal with. I am going to talk to my dad on Sunday and show him this post. I hope it goes well, and I hope all of you stay safe and take care. Edit 2. I'm not sure what I am able to do what I planned, cause Amy just took my car keys away and she wants my phone but I won't give it to her, so she is waiting for my dad to take. Take it off me, because apparently I'm doing drugs, but I told her I'm not. I've been at the beach. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to stop cause I can't handle it. I'm sorry. Yep, date 1. Okay, so my post was locked, but hopefully it's okay now. I've posted the link and tried my best with spacing. I'm on mobile if I can't post it. I give up. For all the support and advice received, I really appreciate and wholeheartedly so grateful for all who DM me to see how I was. Thank you. This will be long because a lot has happened, but many things are still not resolved. Trigger warning. I will mention self-harm, so please if it might trigger you, peels don't read further. I wish I was able to say I followed the advice that was provided, and now everything is better, but some things in life don't play the way we want it to, and we can either let it destroy us or make us better. After writing my edit where my stepmother was taking my things away, and assuming I was on drugs, I started recording on my phone and she said a lot through the door. Many things about my mom and me and just plain hateful words that I don't want to repeat on here. I fell asleep while I was barricading the door with my body when my dad demanded that I open the door. At this point, I don't remember much of what happened but my stepmother told me I had to leave the house, and my dad agreed. I didn't know who to call, but I decided to call my coach and he picked me up, and I was a crying mess. He didn't ask any questions, but just told me that I was safe, and if I needed to talk, he was here for me. I stayed over one night when dad picked me up. Stepmother was not at home when we got there. Dad told me we needed to talk. We had breakfast and my dad spoke to me about many things my stepmother told him, and I couldn't believe all the lies she told him. It was a long talk, but in summary it was, my use of drugs and alcohol, how I disrespect her in our home I don't do my responsibilities like chores at home. I'm nasty to her when dad is not around. He asked me why I was acting like this and if I had a problem with my stepmother I should have spoken to him. I let him talk and when he was crying and asked if I had anything to say. I was so lost for words I knew whatever I said my dad was on my stepmother's side. So I told him I wanted him to watch the recording of the incident that I can send through as an email attachment and the link to my Reddit post 
and then we can talk more. I also said I didn't want to be here when he was reading and watching so I'll go for a drive and he can text me when he's done and ready to talk. He was hesitant at first but I told him it was important to me so he agreed. And I left in my car to the beach and sent the email with the video attached and the link to my Reddit post. I don't know how long I waited but many thoughts were going through my head. I was missing my mom so much and what if my dad still sided with my stepmother? What can I do now? I fell asleep at the beach spot and was woken up by a police officer knocking on my car door and asking for my name. After confirming my name he advised me to get out my car and to hand over my keys to him and to follow him to his car he handcuffed me and assured me that I wasn't in trouble. But this was a welfare check cause someone made a call that I was possibly suicidal. I didn't talk after he told me that and all I remember was just crying. He made me sit in the back of the police car until the ambulance came and they took me to the hospital. I was asked many questions and was evaluated and was told I was depressed and may have extreme anxiety. The physician did say I might have other things but will require further testing and some sessions with a psychiatrist. My dad came and visited me while in hospital and when I saw him he looked really tired. When he spoke it sounded like he was crying and he told me he called the police on me because the video recording I did. He heard everything my stepmother said, but he also saw cuts on my thighs and was scared, and thought the worst. Honestly I never watched the video so I didn't know my thighs were visible. After our cry we spoke about a few things. I told my dad that I don't feel comfortable living with stepmother after everything she said and done to me over the years, and I'm not sure I can handle being around her cause I don't trust her. We spoke about arrangements and knowing my dad still loves my stepmother and I didn't want him to choose between us. I told him that I could talk to coach if I could stay with him, and after calling him he agreed. I've also been admitted to an agency that will support me cause I am mentally unwell. I have been to one session and waiting on another evaluation to be done on me and some testings with my general practitioner so they can diagnose me. I'm currently staying with my rugby coach who has been an amazing pillar. He has set out some house rules but I respect the fella and don't mind following them. My coach even set a date next week for me and dad to catch up on. My coach is an awesome dude, I thought of him as just a coach who just wanted our rugby team to win. But when he allowed me to stay over, he showed so much care for me, and I saw a side to him and understand how much he cares for my team. He has a lovely wife, but I'm kind of anxious whenever it's just me and her at their house. That's it right now, my dad lives at home with my stepmother and is trying to sort that out. I have many appointments to get the help I need and a lot of schoolwork to catch up on and rugby training to attend. I've taken a leave of absence from my Macca's job. I'm gonna miss going to the beach for a while, but I understand that it's not a forever thing, so I hope that the next time I go there, I'm not crying my eyes out. I'm kind of working on being okay if my dad and stepmother, after those of you who shared your similar experiences, someday I'll be okay. Thank you to all who advised me and encouraged me. Those who reached out through direct message, thank you for the kind words and reaching out. I'm not sure if I'll update again, but maybe I'll let you know if something happens in the future. Take care everyone, also be kind to one another, and most of all be kind to yourself cause you deserve it. Too long. Didn't read. I showed my dad my Reddit post and recording of my stepmother being verbally abusive and now I'm staying at my coach's house trying to sort out my mental health update too. I hope everyone has been doing well. I wasn't going to update at all but many who reached out shared their stories and kind words. It truly helped me. I wish I was able to reply but so many things were happening and I'm sorry. This will be a long one but it's because this will be the last time I hope. In my last post my coach sorted out time for me and my dad to catch up weekly. I've met up with my dad twice and this is how it went. First catch up at the beach. We spoke and I told him a lot about what happened between me and his wife. I mentioned how she would treated me when he wasn't there, what she spoke to me after they got married, and how she was awful to live with. I told him how I dealt with it for his sake cause I wanted him to be happy. I mentioned to him that I spoke with the coach about staying there until I go to university and then I'll move away cause I cannot live with his wife anymore cause I'm not sure what I'll do. I'm never gonna try and get along with her anymore. He listened and was crying and asked if I would ever get over this. I told him no and I never wanted to see his wife and walked off cause I was pissed off at what he said and drove back to the coach's house. He messaged me later. I acted like a kid and I responded, cause I am a kid. Second catch up dinner at the coach's house. Second catch up, my coach invited my dad to have dinner and hang with me. My coach has a pool table in his man cave in a pool. I was excited to hang and catch up with my dad even after our last meetup cause I was feeling a bit better. But at the same time, I was feeling anxious about the meetup like I had a bad gut feeling, but I ignored it. Dinner went great and me dad and coach had fun playing pool. Later on that night the coach gave us space to talk. Dad talked about my mom and me as a kid, just things he would tell me when I was a kid and it was just me and him, it was fun, and I really enjoyed our time together. When it was time to go home I offered to drop him off since he drank, but he said his wife was here to pick him up so I hugged him and he went. I kinda stayed in the garage and waited for her to leave so I could walk in the house, but I heard her say how's the little shit? and I bolted out the door and told her to fuck off. Boy was I not ready for the slap my dad gave me but all I remember was swinging a punch at him and knocking him down and my coach pulling me off my dad. My coach told my dad and his wife to leave. After they left I told my coach I never wanted to see him again and texted my dad we were done. It doesn't end there. 
Last week, I planned to not go to school on Friday and go for a drive up the line with a few teammates to just get away from everything. They ended up bailing, so I went by myself. I ended up driving to a lake and parking up and just chilling for the school day and just driving back home later on. When I got home at my coach's house, I saw my dad's car parked in the driveway and thought I would have to square up with my dad. When I parked up, my dad ran out the house and looked like shit. He looked like he cried for days and he started hitting my car screaming to get out the car and tell him where I was the whole day. I thought he was mad that I wagged school so he ripped the door open and hugged me so hard and cried. I had no idea what was happening or what he was saying, but all I could understand was, I'm sorry, and I love you. After what felt like forever, he kind of calmed me down and I asked him why he was here. And then he told me there was an accident with a kid getting hit by a train and... It clicked my dad thought it was me. He said when he heard the news he called the school and they said I was a no-show and called everyone he could think of. My mate said I went for a drive somewhere but didn't know where and my dad said he lost it. He calmed down eventually and said he would divorce his wife if I wanted him to. But I told him he needed to choose that for himself. Two's the reason I stayed quiet was to make him happy. If he is unhappy to make a choice for himself, cause I don't want to be the reason he is unhappy and that now I have to look after myself and that is getting away from her and he cried and just said more sorries. He ended up sleeping over in the same room as me that night and the night after cause I think he was scared and just trying to deal I was okay with it and coached allowed it. He left after the weekend to sort himself out back at his home. I told him that where I am is good for me and to not worry and to not worry and that I'll turn off do not disturb on my phone so I could see texts. That's pretty much it really. I don't know what my dad is going to decide to do with his wife but I am definitely not ever going to associate with her. Ever in the foreseeable future. I love my dad too much to stop seeing him but he knows my boundaries since I've set them out clear as day and he knows as much as I love him. I will cut him off if I feel like it's not for me. I'm moving past what happened between me and my dad's wife for me cuz I'm tired of letting her beat me in my mind so I just gotta work on myself. I'm currently happy staying with my coach and his wife. They have been amazing and have shown me so much love. They have awesome kids who I have met and they have invited me to their family Christmas. I feel bad that I feel anxious when I'm around the coach's wife but I'm working on it with my therapist and I have a good support system. I know I wanna go to university but not sure if I wanna study commerce or law. But I know I am on track with my studies, I just can't afford to skip so anymore. Thank you to everyone who sent messages of support and reached out to share your experiences. He all gave me the strength to believe I could get out of this mess and be okay. And if you ever feel down that there is help out there for you no matter where you are in life. I'm glad I shared on Reddit cuz I've learned so much about me and many things I won't forget and teach to my kids. Now I gotta go school, take care and cheers OP posted in mom for a minute on Sept 27, 22 about turning 18. Can't repost from this sub. I hate that my current reality is that I don't have people I can rely on right now in my life. I am trying to do the best to survive and better my current situation. I've had so much happen to me this year and I feel like I can't afford to take time for myself to catch a break or else I'll lose what I currently have, which is not much. I know I'm young and have so much to look forward to, but it's hard, like so hard to want to carry on when so much shit is going wrong. I'm trying to find a place to stay even in a flatmate situation to be more independent, but I can barely afford anything. My job offered me a better paying position at the expense of a full-time job and even though I would love more money that means I will have to give up my dream to go university. I know many people have had worse situations and honestly I don't know how they found the will and help they got. It really feels like the world just hates me and I know I'm feeling sorry for myself but I honestly giving up hope. What can I get the family I'm staying with for Christmas? I, 18M, feel indifferent about catching up with my dad, 42M. I, 18M, have a strained relationship with my dad, 42M. A lot has happened this year between us and it really ruined our relationship. He was my best friend, would be there for my rugby matches and push me to do my best. Earlier this year, I had a fallout with my stepmom and my dad, which caused me to move out of my home and in with my coach, 37M, who I call uncle. I have been here ever since. We did try to mend our relationship but harsh words were exchanged and I stopped reaching out and focused on passing my exams. I have worked hard on myself by working at my job and helping out at the place I'm staying. I have made some sort of peace about my situation and focused on my future. Now my dad reached out last night to meet up with him to hang and we planned it for next year on the 4th of Jan I agreed and that was that. My uncle talked to me about what me and my dad spoke about. He was kind of worried about my feelings about meeting my dad because of my feelings towards the day. I explained the best I could is that I just feel indifferent about my dad right now. I am not excited or scared about this meeting. I just see it as a date. I'll be seeing him and that's it. Whether we meet up or not, I'm not bothered by it at all. My uncle and his wife care a lot and have done so much for me so I care about what they say. They think I should have a reason to meet up with him since I haven't spoken to him in a while and worried I could get hurt. Should I have a different mindset towards catching up with my dad? Too long, didn't read. Dad planned to catch up next year for me and him. We had a fallout so my uncle thinks that I should be feeling something but I feel indifferent. A commenter asks how it went. 
Okay, this reply took a while because I wasn't ready to share but I'm okay for now. My dad turned up with stepmother and told me that they were having a kid. I congratulated them and we spent time talking about my future and dad telling me he can pay for my university studies as long as I keep my grades up. We spoke about a lot and then we said our goodbyes and I left. I wasn't able to drive home cuz I started crying and had to call my uncle to come pick me up. It's been a few weeks since the meeting and now I'm not sure about my feelings about everything but focusing on getting ready for uni so I'm working a lot more. My uncle and I are planning to go check out his other house that was affected by floods so that's something to look forward to because I need a change of scenery. Thanks for checking on me it means a lot. You'll do well OP. Go out there and be successful for yourself. Your uncle and wife are really a gem. That's a couple you need to return the favor or love one day. So have you decided what major you will do in uni? OP, most definitely. They are honestly the best support I have and I am forever grateful to them both for sharing their home, family and love. Sometimes I wonder why they do it and they always remind me it's because they care and love me which means a lot. For uni, I'm going for a bachelor's in commerce, majoring in commercial law and accounting. Very excited about it and looking forward to it. It will take some years, but that's okay for me right now. The father is not leaving the stepmom and OP is working to move forward. I'm flaring this concluded. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more shocking real-life stories happening around you.